Hi, this is week 39. I'm Dr. Donna. Let's get into it. Last week, we read Business the Jack Welch Way, and it was an awesome book. The part that resonated the most with me was never sit still, or as I used to call it at Frito-Lay, managing from the doggone desk. You cannot lead a Fortune 100 corporation and be number one or two in your industry if you're not out there on the ground, like we used to say in the military. You gotta get dirty with the troops if you wanna get things done. And that's what I admire most about Jack Welch is that he got down there and he got his hands dirty and his knees dirty and he talked to the team members and the staff and the crew and he was honest with them and they knew what he was about. He was straight, no chaser. And so if you're running a small business, a medium-sized business or even a large corporation, you cannot sit still. You cannot sit at your desk and expect things to happen. You got to lead by example, as I talk about in my book, Real Leaders Wear Pink. And when you do those things, when you lead from the front, people are going to knock down doors to make sure they can follow you. Last week's TED Talk, The Secret of Self-Control. Now, I thought that the TED Talk was going to be about me not losing my mind on Las Vegas Strip when there's a lot of traffic or on the Spaghetti Bowl. If you've been in Las Vegas, you know that Spaghetti Bowl is loopy and, oh my goodness, it's just awful when it comes to traffic. But what it was really about was this term called, wait for it, willingness. You have to be willing to try to accept what is going on from an addiction perspective. Now, the TED Talk used tobacco and smoking and food as addictions, but there are so many different addictions out there. Shopping, gambling, and the list goes on. You have to be willing. So instead of avoiding, which most systems tell you to avoid smoking, how to avoid it, get rid of the cravings or whatever, this system says be willing to have the emotion. Be willing to say, I am having thoughts of having a cookie. I am having thoughts of having a cigarette. I am having thoughts of putting my money in a slot machine. And then just let it sit there. And what's going to happen is that craving monster is going to go away. He also called it having a mental tug of war with yourself. And he said, instead of having this tug of war with the monster, why don't you just let the rope drop on the ground and just let it go? So be willing to accept that those cravings are there, that the lack of self-control is there, and then just let the mental tug of war go, let the rope go, and slowly but surely, you're going to build up your self-control momentum. Next week book is Teacher Man. This is going to be an amazing story, and I don't want to spoil it for you. I just know that by reading the jacket, I am going to be mesmerized by this amazing teacher. TED Talk, Inside the Mind of a Master Procrastinator. Do you know anybody that's a master procrastinator? I know I do. So this is going to be awesome. For those of you who are just now joining us, that link is for you. Sign up, sign up, sign up. You still have plenty of time to be better than average and read more than one nonfiction book a week. And before I get out of here, I just want to leave you with when you can read it and you can see it, then you can believe it and you most certainly can achieve it. From here to the galaxy sphere. I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.